EastWest released Hollywood Fantasy Orchestra. So I captured some footage of Skyrim and wrote a little bit of in-game music for it. Let's check it out. So first of all, yes, the 10 tracks you see here is everything that I needed to write this piece of music. Okay, so let's start with the first track. What I've used here is the Hollywood Fantasy Orchestrator, and this is the preset full orchestra and choir sustain one patch. So I'm just playing you a few spots here, but everything that you hear comes from this one patch. So I can already hear subtle changes in dynamics. So let's check out what happens when I move the mod wheel a little bit more up like here. So just by moving the mod wheel, you can hear such a difference in sound. So let me just play you a simple chord and move the mod wheel up right now. So, I mean, technically, you could write an entire orchestra, choir-based atmosphere track with this one patch. And just a little word to the people thinking that this orchestrator or this way of orchestration is kind of cheating. Wait until the moment until you get hired for a huge video game and you have to deliver tons of music to just give an impression of what you're going for. And when you finally have to deliver 30 to 60 minutes of music just for dialogue cutscenes or some kind of in-game happenings where music is not the center of attention. Okay, so let's check out the next patch. I used the orchestrator again here, and this is from the scores menu. There are lots of pre-made arrangements that are called scores, and you have them available as 4-4, four, four, sometimes 3-4 and 5-4, even and 7 8 here for example then you have an entire folder of ostinato stuff going on and lots of ensemble variations from which i've used the full orchestra and choir long patch for the first track okay but for now let's listen to journey 5 here <laughs> Now 
Now by changing the velocity a little bit, you can hear subtle variation going on. So actually you can do way more variation with it. So let me just play a soft D minor chord. Just hear the tubular bells. When I hit harder, the louder the tubular bell. Now let me just move up the mod wheel here. Okay, next patch I used a simple ostinato here, 16th notes in 3-4. This is just like a little trigger note and it sounds like this. So the entire series also contains Hollywood fantasy voices and you'll find some very beautiful legato patches sung by Merte Sultvet, who is also one of the two steps from Hell Singers. So let's check this out. So in my track I only used four notes but I just want to play you a little phrase here. And later in the track you hear an Irish whistle, so let's check out this one here. Okay, next track is one of the Hollywood fantasy strings instruments and this is the viola di gamba and it sounds like this. Another instrument that I've used from the fantasy strings is the high strings octave legato patch and it sounds like this. And then I copied this melody down here because I wanted to layer the octave strings with the Renaissance flutes. And it sounds like this. And last but not least, I wanted to have brass. So the first track of the two brass tracks is the low brass ensemble. And it sounds like this. So just in case if you're asking yourself why am I leaving gaps sometimes here, always keep one thing in mind. Brass players need to breathe. And the last track here are the flugelhorns sustain and it sounds like this.
Okay, mixing wise, there is not a lot going on. I just applied a little bit of EQ on the high strings octave legato patch because sometimes there are just a little bit of harsh frequencies going on. Depends on the track, depends on the arrangement. I just felt like it sounds a little bit better with that EQ applied. Let's have a listen. When it comes to mastering also not a lot going on just a little bit of compression limiting and some oxford inflator let me just play you the track bypass and then turn on these plugins one by one Okay, so that's it. I hope you liked this video. What I really liked and loved about Hollywood Fantasy Orchestra is that it gives you that typical fantasy sound right out of the box and that it is not just another orchestral sample library. And when it comes to the orchestrator, this is such a huge help, especially when it comes to finding inspiration, when it comes to delivering a first sketch to an audio director or a film producer or and this happens a lot when it comes to reviewing and editing and rewriting entire tracks in the last minute of a crunch phase. Thanks again for checking out this video. You know the deal. Give me a like, follow my channel for more stuff like this and see you soon. Thanks for watching.